Hello and welcome, it's KB here. So let's talk about the Arc browser because just recently it also became available for Windows. Uh, if you go to the official website, now it says download Arc for Windows 11. Before this, only the Mac users could enjoy this or I don't know, tolerate this. Maybe most people enjoyed it. Everyone has their own opinion and own way to do it. So yeah. It's now available on Windows. Hooray! So I tried it. Cool. It's it's actually really cool. Uh, now let's talk about one of the biggest problem or uh, headache that it gave me <laughs> was a simple thing actually to be honest. So I use Krita to do most of my work to edit photos, make thumbnails and everything. So you know in Krita you select something and I use default uh, keyboard shortcuts of Krita. So here I have selected this uh, area and now I, I want to deselect this. So to deselect in Krita you have to click on Control Shift and A. Once you do that it doesn't do nothing in Krita. Instead it opens the, uh, the Arc browser. Again I'm gonna completely turn off the Arc browser. So now I'm gonna try to deselect the selection. Control Shift A gonna wait for it it opens the arc browser it's not a big deal actually I, w I don't know why I'm making this a big deal but it gave me a headache when I was working on Krita wow maybe something wrong maybe I downloaded a virus or something like that but it turned out that when you install arc browser on uh, at least on Windows that's all I know uh, it creates a desktop shortcut and if you go to the properties of this thing it comes with the shortcut key and the, that shortcut key is Control shift a which is the same thing that i'm trying to do in krita I wasted about like uh one hour of my life just to figuring out what happened and finally found a post on reddit yeah this is this was the problem otherwise i was thinking someone hacked my pc because <laughs> the arc was automatically opening now to fix that i can simply delete the shortcut from the desktop or i can change the shortcut key or completely remove the shortcut keys now let's go to the critter control shift a wow it works. I didn't knew that you could use shortcut keys. I'm a Windows user. I make tutorials. I didn't knew that you can put shortcut keys in the properties of the shortcuts of the program. Yeah, I didn't know about this and it is so powerful no matter what you're doing. If you press those keys, it will work. Okay, <laughs> it will work. So I don't know. It's, it's too powerful. Okay, now my statement uh, like do not install uh, Arc Browser still stays the same. To be honest, I have never seen a browser as clean as this one. Okay, I'm just gonna compare this with the, the Microsoft Edge. Okay, it's garbage. We can do some settings and make it cleaner. Okay, change the uh, uh, new tab to something else. Yeah, that is possible, but out of the box experience is much better in Arc. So Arc is like superior in simplicity plus the cleanliness. I don't know if that's how you say it. Cleanliness? <laughs> is that even a word? Okay. Now, second thing, Arc is different browser. I mean, really, really, really different browser. Okay. Uh, compared to traditional browsers, you know, every browser out there looks and functions the same. There are hardly any differences. We have tab button at the top we have settings to the left maybe in some to the right but no matter which browser you use everything works similarly no matter which browser you use but with the arc it's a different story it doesn't work traditionally it's way 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 different compared to the traditional browsers it doesn't have a new tab plus button instead it has the sidebar almost everything is done in sidebar now the truth is this browser isn't for everyone okay if you like simple clean and you're used to using the traditional browser like you know how we use the browser you're not gonna like the arc browser because it works differently this browser is useful only if you want to boost your productivity if you use the browser for your work and you want to organize your stuffs 
This is the best browser. You can create folders, spaces, you know, the another space for another thing. Okay, folder basically like a bookmark or actual folder actually. I don't know how do I put it together. Space works also similarly actually differently <laughs> space is another space you can see how it changed the color this is different space here you can do the similar thing that you did with in first space but it's another space let's say i'm from earth but you are from mars so it's a different place one tab is earth and one is mars and another one moon maybe jupiter may i don't know but you got the idea, okay? That's what the space is. I don't know why I'm getting so dramatic about this. Okay, so that's how it works. If you start using it, it is actually not that complicated or not that different. It is actually much simpler than the traditional browsers. But navigating this thing is still difficult. You need to learn the shortcut keys or every time, let's say, let, let's have an example actually. I'm gonna open this website. Uh, from the arc this is the resources for learning the arc keyboard shortcuts and everything yeah this is where i was getting so you need to learn keyboard shortcuts and they have the resources very cool without these you'll be slow okay because every time you want to do something or you want to navigate through the different tabs or anything you go there and then you know you go to the other uh, tab switch tabs from here no that's slow instead you can do control tab which is actually the universal shortcut key within windows and you can switch between the different programs so that thing actually works with this browser too which is cool to create a new tab you click on control t and it will open this search box thingy in the middle i don't know why not at the top you can click on the top thingy and it will open the thingy in middle yeah it works differently okay and uh, kind of clean too in one way this is kind of cool if you want to be productive and you want to organize your stuff and you use browser for your work definitely you should use this and learn the shortcut keys and everything yeah that's that and there is like this is minimal type of web browser let's go to the settings very minimal there is one thing that i don't like actually let's say uh, i wanna have a incognito mode okay now we have the incognito i don't know for some reason it still has the access to the things that we have in the spaces or folders I don't know about the history but you know when you create a new tab in incognito you can see it has the access to the things that are in the arc browser kind of weird now if the page is in full screen i can't actually tell if it's in incognito mode or not because there is no incognito icon or uh the text to find out uh, I have to click on this and here it says incognito I don't know I, I'm lost in here this browser is so new and different I don't know how to change the colors <laughs> look at me I changed the colors just few days ago now I don't remember where to change now let's go settings settings is also like uh, minimal you can access the advanced settings too oh uh, okay okay if i go in this profile default search engine and uh, yeah there we have some advanced settings you have to go really deep into it to get to the advanced settings uh, you can click on one of these things now it will open the chrome settings yes this thing is actually based on chromium so this thing is from inside a chrome Almost every browser is based on Chromium, actually. Expect some Firefox based. Firefox is different, okay? Even the Microsoft Edge is based on Chromium, okay? So here you get the, you know, the Chrome style uh, menu, okay? All the settings menu. So it's kind of hidden, hidden, very deep <laughs> in the Arc settings. And another thing you cannot use arc browser without logging in or creating a account so it doesn't work like the other browser you download it open it and start surfing the internet no it's, it works differently yeah this browser is unique in many ways you know looks different works different i don't know what else is different but 
Yeah, it's different. I mean, if you really want to use Arc Browser, as I said, if you use browser for your work, Arc Browser can be better choice because you can organize your things here and there with folder space and it's clean. Yeah, it's, 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 it's actually cool. Now, just my opinion, I'm not going to switch to Arc. I barely have one or two tabs open on my browser. M maximum tabs that I actually use is like three or four tabs and I don't really need Arc. For me, traditional browser is enough. I just use Google Chrome main browser and also use uh, the uh, Microsoft Edge. So I'm not gonna switch to Arc. Again, as I said, I, I think I, this is going to be the third or fourth time. If you use browser for your work, Arc browser is better. Uh, this isn't for me. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest here. Not for me. I know this is the cleanest and coolest browser, but not for me. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Now it's your turn. What do you think about uh, Edge browser? And you know, if you want to say something about it, you know, we can have chit chat in the comment section. You can do the comment and yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.